Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be in the studio today with Mr. Yong Lok Yoon, who is the uh, president of the National IT Industry Promotion Agency. Mm -hmm. Mr. Yoon, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Thank you for your time, Isers. Now, uh, first of all, uh, we want to state that very much South Korea is considered as the world's most innovative economy, according to the 2017 Bloomberg Innovation Index. I wanted to ask you what types of programs are available to support youth and future technology innovators and why are these programs important to you? Uh, actually, uh, our, our country in Korea is not a big country. We don't have natural resources. That's why we are very much focused on human capital. As you know well, uh, our young generations are eager to challenge for the future technology or future business. So we hope to encourage them uh, for the future. So I always suggest them to make imagination instead of remembering. Because the remembering is a journey to the past. Imagination is another journey to the future. So we always suggest them to make more imagination. Well, our strategy is uh, how can we cultivate our young generation imagination to the, to the innovation, right? Now that's why we encourage some projects uh, such as you know startup economy or digital innovation economy something like that. So since uh, uh, last government, we encouraged our young generations to come out, and uh, we hopefully not only within the territory but also we are uh, thinking about uh, their challenge to the foreign countries, and furthermore. Uh, Korea is one of the best countries as far as the R&D budget is concerned. Our R&D budget is more than, more or less than 5%. Maybe that's the world first or second. So uh, that's one of the reasons why we are encouraging our young generation first. And very hopefully, and very, uh, uh, I know, ITU Telecom World, uh, by chance, is uh, held here in Busan. And three years ago, we host the ITU Planning Potentially. Uh, and also, the reason why the we, our uh, trade is concerned. Uh, the Korea as a whole, we make uh, 50 billion US dollars as trade surplus. But out of that, I mean, ICT industry only, we make 100 billion uh, trade sur uh, surplus. That means our economy is very much dependent on ICT uh, industry. Uh, so that's why our government is very much concerned about how can we cultivate ICT technology and eventually mix it together with science and technology? And then uh, we can expect a great uh, innovation from our young generation imagination. Now you've been funding a number of projects. Uh, perhaps you could tell us about one of them, the K Startup Grand Challenges. And, and perhaps uh, you could tell us a little bit about this. It's an incubator program, I understand. Uh, in Korea, uh, the, stu the university students, 10% uh, of them are foreigners now. Traditionally, our society is very homogeneous, but nowadays we are often. So not only we have to cultivate our young generation's ideas, but also we are supposed to uh, encourage uh, foreign students or foreigners to come into our country for the startups or for in uh, innovation. So that's why we started the uh, K-Startup Grand Challenge, just like K-pop. It's quite popular throughout the world, right? So okay. nowadays, I mean, it, it, uh, this year was second, second year, but last year we invited more than 2,300 teams, and this year more or less than uh, that. So we are very successful. Uh, our pro our, our uh, strategy is not only to encourage our young generation within the Korea, we are supposed to uh, invite from other countries just like inbound products. Quite successful. And we are going to eventually expand it, not only uh, here in uh, this country, but also throughout the world. That's great. And also, just wanted to ask you about the, the National IT Industry Promotion Agency. Why has the NIPA joined IT Telecom World 2017 in this event? Your, uh, and what are your expected outcomes for, for, for this? 
Okay, actually, I have been more than 25 years uh, experience in Korea Telecom as a legacy telecom operator. So last 25 years, my project, my, my goal, uh, one of the best important my goal was uh, how can we uh, expand our telecom infrastructure. But nowadays infrastructure is everywhere in Korea, maybe one of the best throughout the country, throughout the world. So uh, the, the mission from now on is how can we create values on top of that, right? So one of the best important one is uh, cloud computing, right? So that's why uh, in this event, we open a very big uh, cloud expo. Uh, not only the cloud computing, we are very much concerned about ICBM. You know, in North Korea, you know, is uh, threatening ICBM. The ICBM in North Korea is an uh, intercontinental ballistic missile, like hard power, right? But our ICBM in South Korea is somewhat different. I stands for IoT, C, cloud computing, big data, and mobile. With those four elements, we are going to make very dynamic vitamins for any other industries. Human beings, sometimes we need vitamin, right? Vitamin A makes our eyes brighter. Vitamin D makes our skins more healthier. Just like that, uh, every industry now, they need vitamin. As you know, well, the shipbuilding industry in Korea, last 25 years, we were number one throughout the world. Steel industry, number one. Automobile, number four. But nowadays, because of cheap labor, like uh, China, India, and many other countries, our uh, uh, you know, manufacturing industry is not uh, competitive anymore. So we are going to provide some vitamin to every industry. So vitamin S for shipbuilding. So if we combine some IC technology or soft capability with shipbuilding industry, and then we can make those industry make more dynamics, uh, have more dynamics again. If like that, we are going to provide many different kind of dynamics, just like human beings. So we are going to share those vitamins, not only here in Korea, but also all over the world, uh, the ITU country, member countries throughout the world. Well, it's been a pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you very much for those wonderful insights and, uh, and challenges uh, ahead. I'm sure we'll be met with uh, uh, revitalized energy and super, super vit vitamins <laughs> all the way through. So thank you very much for that. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thank you. It's my pleasure too. Thank you. Thank you. Great stuff. Excellent. <laughs>